Hey folks, my name is Swekta, and I'll be serving the role as narrator for this video. Did you know that CJ was meant to be able to purchase furniture in GTA San Andreas? A long time ago, the developers actually had this idea to give the player the ability to buy furniture. Don't believe me? Let's have a look at some corroborating facts, shall we? First off, by searching for clues in the text containers, you will find these two unused strings from the stats menu. The first string indicates that the game had an ability to track how much money you would spend on furniture during gameplay, and it would have looked exactly like the weapon budget or the fashion budget stats. The second stat would tell us how much furniture CJ bought throughout the game. Both of these strings are unused, and so the stat is missing. So, how did these furniture transactions take place? I believe that there were several locations around San Andreas that would offer the player the ability to buy furniture. By having a look for clues in the game's text files, you can come across these five strings. Now as I understand it, there were five different furniture shops in the game, and they were called... Cheap Fern, or Cheap Furniture. Tableau translates to Picture in French. Helmut, which is a German name. Nice idea, and finally, home buys, possibly a wordplay on the word homeboy. So, why do I think that these five locations were meant for buying furniture? Well, the answer to that is rather simple. Have a look at these tags. We can see that the strings used yellow markers. For instance, if we were to take the fast food tags, then we can clearly see a simple pattern in their tags. The first part indicates that these places sold food, while the second part tells us specifically what type of food. For instance, food burger is burger shot, food chicken is cluck and bell, and so on. By having another look at these furniture shop tags, we can see the same pattern. Cheap fern meant cheap furniture, quite possibly a bingo equivalent of a furniture store. Sadly, nothing more is known about it. Tableau has a desk tag, which probably means design. What is more interesting is that you can actually find this shop in Los Santos. If you were to ever visit the rodeo area, then you can actually spot this building with the name Tableau on it. So, is this the place where we could buy designer furniture? I think so. Unfortunately though, nothing more is known about it. The next shop is called Helmet. Its tag suggests that this place sold expensive furniture, and I actually do have an idea where that might be located. So, I extracted every single in-game texture, and by searching the name Helmet, or its shorter form, I found two textures. The first one is a wall texture with the name Helmet, while the second one is a texture for an LOD model. Both of these textures are used by this place, which is located in Rodeo, near the building with the Tableau sign. Honestly, I have no clue if this is the right location, but this is really the only clue that I have for you. Did you know that you can find this store in GTA Liberty City Stories? The store is located in Chinatown under the name Helmet Shine. Now you might be asking yourselves, why do I think that Helmet in San Andreas and Helmet Shine in Liberty City Stories are connected? Well, according to this advertisement near the airport, Helmet Shine in Liberty City Stories sells furniture. Fun fact, the developers reused a beta picture with a cut interior from the Mulholland safe house. Hmm, I wonder what this could mean. By the way, special thank you to Thomas Zack for finding this. Some people think that the IKEA tag in the Nice Idea string stands for IKEA. Since Rockstar North is located in Scotland, they know about the famous IKEA store. IKEA, as a lot of you know, is known for smart space management and innovative furniture construction. I believe that Rockstar wanted to implement their own nice idea furniture store. But keep in mind that this is simply speculation on my part. I have no proof of that actually being the case. Rented, who previously tried to investigate this cut feature, thought that home buys might actually be a parody of the real-life home base furniture shop, which is located in the UK. The MRF tag is a damn mystery, if anything. No one knows what it might stand for. If you guys have any ideas, then feel free to post them in the comment section below. So yeah, these were the five different shops, although I might be able to find another store under the name Number One Desert Home Furnishing, located in Fort Carson, Las Venturas. I'm actually unsure whether or not this really is the sixth furniture store in the game, as no clues indicating that are left. This store can also be found in Angel Pine, near Mount Chiliad, this time with a different model. 
Yet again, I am unsure whether or not this was actually meant to be used as a furniture store, but it is at least worth mentioning. So, the question remains. Just how would these furniture transactions play out? Thankfully, there is a hint left in the shopping.dat file. You see, everything you can buy in-game through a special menu, such as weapons, food, and tattoos, are coded in this shopping.dat file. So, let's open up this file and see what the developers had to say about this file. Quote, file which has every object's price in it. The file is broken into sections by type of object, for example, car mod, furniture. Yes, that's right, furniture. If we were to scroll down just a little bit, then we can see a furniture section, which sadly has no remaining code. So yeah, it is safe to assume, based on the clues left in shopping.dat, that you could simply walk into a furniture store and purchase furniture. In all honesty, I do think that this idea was cut very early in development, because all we have now are just some unused strings and nothing else. While we do have both a tableau and possibly helmet shop located in Los Santos, there are no entrance boxes behind their doors to give the illusion of the player actually entering a building when walking into them. Usually developers don't delete these boxes if they decide to cut the ability to enter these cut locations, but not in our case, unfortunately. Not to mention that there are no furniture store interiors left in the game. Nor are there any clues left in the game's executable, which begs the question, did Rockstar ever really start work on this idea? Or was this simply one of many, many ideas that ended up being scrapped early in development? And lastly, furniture.dat is not linked with this cut feature at all. This file is actually used for the burglary submission. If you corrupt this file, then the game will crash if you try to enter any of these houses. Well, there you have it, folks. If you're a fan of Bully, like me, then there's a good chance that you'll enjoy my channel. A link to that can be found down below in the video info. Anyway, that's it for this video. You folks, as always, stay classy. Peace.